Hi, Rob here at the Rack Shop. Uh, today we are going to take maybe not such a quick look, but I'll take a look at the Yakima on-ramp. This is a hitch mounted tray or platform style uh, bike rack. So uh, this one here is a two inch receiver, also available an inch and a quarter, but uh, attaches to your hitch and is a great way to carry bikes. Platform tray style bike carriers are some of the easiest ways to transport your bikes. And this particular carrier can work with pretty much any bike on the market. So it does say e-bike tray hitch rack, and it does handle e-bikes, can handle uh, bikes up to 66 pounds each. So e-bikes are notoriously heavy and most racks can't handle that, but this one can. Um, and not only can it handle those heavy racks, it can handle um, narrow road bikes, mountain bikes, hybrid bikes, even bikes with front fenders, or even bikes with uh, unique frames. So a lot of uh, women's style step through frame bikes, um, those are not a problem. So we'll go ahead and go over everything you see here. Um, we still have the box here. And if you're wondering what you can expect, uh, so you order this online if you need to get it home. Uh, this is about 24 inches by 53 by 12. And fully packaged, you're looking at about 60 pounds. So um, may not fit into some trunks, but if you have an SUV, this should fit into the back of it, no problem, uh, to get it home and get it assembled. Um, but uh, so about 60 pounds here, but once it's just the rack, you're looking at about 42, 43, it's like 42.6 pounds. So about, let's round up 43 pounds, which is pretty good. Um, 43 pound carrier that can handle up to two 66 pound bikes each. That's, heck yeah, that's really good. So um, put this box aside and go over some of what you um, are looking at here. So of course, it's called the on-ramp. Gotta have a ramp, that's to help with loading and unloading the bikes, and that'll actually be mounted to the carrier, uh, so it'll be there if you ever need it. Um, you also have your cable lock, a couple keys, instruction manual, safety notes, make sure that you read all that before you get into all this. This video is just kinda help you out, but definitely wanna make sure you read the instructions to make sure um, that your bike will work, because there are some tire limitations. Uh, you can go up to, uh, three and a quarter inch tire, and that's on a 27 and a half inch wheel, uh, uh, excuse me, up to a 29 inch wheel with three and a half inch, uh, three and a quarter inch tire numbers, am I right? Or you can do uh, up to, uh, it's a four and a half inch tire with a 27 and a half inch wheel. And that you just need to get the fat bike strap kit for it and you'll be good to go there. And you can handle uh, wheel bases up to 50 inches uh, so pretty much can handle, like I said, any bike that's out there. Uh, keep going over what you get. You have the Yakima wrenches for assembly because some assembly is required. You've got your tray unit here. This comes out of the box one piece. Then you've got your hitch base here. Uh, you've got a couple bolts. One of them has a pre-installed nut with two washers. The other one has just a pre-installed lock washer. This is actually your hitch pin bolt. So you're not gonna need this until the very end. So make sure, don't confuse that with this one. And this one here is gonna um, attach the hitch base to the uh, tray, tray assembly. And that's roughly it. Um, tools that you may need, that, um, a 10 millimeter wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver. These are to adjust the wheel strap and the tray. So if you need to kick the trays out for a longer wheelbase, um, you're gonna need these tools to do so. Or if you just need to make adjustments on the strap, that 10 millimeter is what's gonna, gonna do it for you. Okay, um, so let me move some of this out of the way and we'll go ahead and assemble this carrier. The ramp's gonna be one of the last things. Hitch pin cable, don't need quite yet. Keys, instructions. Okay, yeah, we'll need all this. All right. So let me go ahead and slide this over here close to the camera. Okay. So this hitch base, again, this is a two inch receiver. It's threaded connection. So that hitch pin bolt, once it's in the hitch and you thread that in, it actually takes out that play and that wobble. So it gives you a nice secure connection to the vehicle. Um, here we've got a little pull tab. 
and that's gonna allow you to be able to tilt the rack to access the rear of the vehicle. So the way this works, you've got a little safety catch here. So if you don't press that, this won't pop loose. So you need to press that, and then you can pull that pin out. Okie dokie. All right, let's get this a little closer. So here, if you can see, there's a larger hole here, one down here, and one here. Your bolt's actually gonna run on this back one here. So this spring-loaded pin that we just looked at is gonna go in this hole here. So we'll just drop that in. It'll kind of catch and rest on its own. Take our bolt with the two washers, take the nut off and one washer, and we'll feed this in through the same side as this gray knob through this hole back here. Kind of wiggle and feed that through. And then on this back side, the washer, the second washer, and then the nut. And that nut has nylock, so once you have it tight, it's gonna be nice and secure. You shouldn't have to worry about it at all. All right, take our Yakima wrenches and get the tightening. Um, if you have tools at home, uh, 19 millimeter, we'll get this job done and probably a lot quicker than using just these two wrenches. But they are provided if you don't have any tools, which is nice. Or you keep these in the car if you ever need to make any adjustments or tension something down the road. Okay, so not too much to that. That's all done. Throw those wrenches aside. Okay, we'll pull that lever. And now this hitch base can fold down. But we'll go ahead and, well, I'll leave it down. Just to kind of show you some more details on the rack while we got it here. Okay, so you've got a wing knob here, and this is actually where your ramp is gonna be mounted. Okay. So it's nice, it's got a little wing knob, so it's quick and easy, and you don't need any tools. So this has a hole in the center. Just drop down. There you go, your ramp's coming with you. So that's a really nice, nice location. That way, you know, it's, it's with the rack. So if you need it, it's there, but it's not gonna be in the way because you'll be loading it from this side. This will be on the back side of the, the outer side of the vehicle. So nice location there. Um, you've got your center mast. So there's a pull tab, little gray pull, swing this around so you can see it. Gray pull tab. And that'll swing up, lock into place. And then here you've got your arms with these ratcheting straps. And these are what are gonna grab onto whatever portion of the bike frame that you can get that onto. So you've got a tensioning lever here, so you can loosen that and that'll allow you to slide it up, pivot around, find whatever you need to. You got rubber here to protect the frame and then a rubber sleeve here that you can adjust to the, to the uh, where the holder is gonna contact the frame. So you just feed that through, pull that tight, tighten up the gray knob on the back and then you're nice and secure. But when you don't have any bikes on, you can align these up, fold this down, And then you'll be able to actually tilt the rack up against the vehicle so it's uh, less of it's hanging off the back. So uh, that's it as far as assembly. So you can see that was pretty quick and easy. Uh, let me go ahead and flip it up. So again, if you needed to make some adjustments on the wheel straps, you can loosen this 10 millimeter bolt uh, nuts on the bottom and then that strap will slide forward and backwards. Um, when you are loading your bikes, that strap does need to be at a 45 degree angle so, you know, your first time adjusting it, you may need, or loading your bikes, you may need to make some adjustments. Uh, so that's how you do that. Uh, if you need to adjust the trays left and right, you've got these knobs on the bottom here. So you just loosen those, that one and that one, and then you can slide this tray left and right. So if you need to have better clearance from one bike to the other, there's lots of little bits of adjustment you can do 
uh, to really dial it in. So again, this is a really fantastic carrier, super versatile. So um, I think from here, we'll go ahead and get it on the car and show you how to put this onto the car and also how to load a bike. So stay tuned because we'll cut to it right now. Okay, so here we've got the on-ramp on the back of this uh, Kia Nero with the two-inch receiver. I know, I was surprised we could put a two-inch receiver on this too, but okay, it's approved. Um, so we have it installed onto the hitch, and this is the position that you'd want it when you're taking it, um, inserting it or removing it from the hitch, because it's much, much easier to grab and uh, slide in or out. You can kind of use your hip to help manage the, uh, the load on it. So... Um, Real quick, we can actually insert a closer up video of us inserting it into the hitch. So essentially what you're doing is just plugging it in, finding the hitch pin hole, and we recommend using the hitch pin bolt uh, to insert it from one side and then continue pushing the rack in until that bolt finds the hole and it can slide through. And then you wanna go ahead and thread it by hand as much as you can. That helps prevent any sort of uh, cross threading. And then once you get it to a point where you can't thread it any longer, then you go ahead and bring out the wrench, which is provided with your Yakima kit, and start tightening her up. So just tighten, tighten, tighten. Uh, you can even move around the hitch rack itself so it can kind of um, help uh, seat a little better and tighten until it's nice and firm. And then from there, you're good to go. Okay, so back to here. Uh, once, so it's nice and secure to the hitch. Here, it's good and tight. Um, what we'll do from here to lower it, we'll remove the safety pin, which is plugged in on this passenger side, and we'll pull out this spring-loaded pin on the driver's side and tilt that down. And then from here, we'll go ahead and reinsert this safety pin pops right in, pretty simple to do, and it's tethered uh, to the hitch base to make sure it doesn't go uh, walking away. <clears throat> All right, so from here, we are gonna get it loaded up with the bike. To do that, we'll raise the mass, pull out this gray catch, that'll pop up here. Uh, we'll go ahead and also get the wheel straps loose and out of the way. There we go, and get these kind of positioned out of the way as well. We'll grab our bicycle. This bike is pretty light, so we can just go ahead and lift it up, <clears throat> get it on the tray, and on the get the handlebars on the other side of the mass, bring this down. Do keep in mind, at least for your first time loading it, um, keep in mind where the pedals are and that you clear the vehicle. Uh, once you know that there's not going to be any contact, then you can be a little more uh, free with it when you're loading and unloading. Okay, so here the bike will just <clears throat> sit on this tray and we'll go ahead and get this holder into place. So you can either choose maybe here on the bicycle behind the front wheel or um, maybe we'll just grab, let's see, where do we want to grab? Or we can grab this top piece here. So we'll go ahead and undo the buckle and probably should have done this when we unloaded the, uh, undid the wheel straps. That we're not having to hold the bike and do this at the same time. There we go. Okay. So yeah, we'll go ahead and just secure this over the top portion of the bike. So we need to raise it up to match it. So get the cradle 
flush against the frame, feed the strap through, we'll adjust the rubber protective boot, continue pulling the strap, pull that until it's nice and firm. There we go. That's set there. And now we need to do the uh, wheel straps. So for those, take your strap, run it through the wheel and then through the buckle. We'll get that one just loosely started. Do the same for the front. And again, these straps need to be at a 45 degree angle. So if you need to adjust the wheel, um, you can do so pretty easily. All right. Pull that one tight. I'll go ahead and do the same for the back. Adjust the wheel. That way it's not right against the spoke. And then just double check the top and then go ahead and tension this green knob up here and that'll get that nice and tight all right that's nice and firm double check this top one and I'm going to slide this rubber boot back a little bit more so we can get a couple more pulls out of that oh yeah there it is so it's mounted and it's ready to hit the road what you can do from here <clears throat> can add on your cable lock and the way this works it's optional it's strictly a security element has no effect on how the bikes are actually held to the rack so you know, if you're going from your house straight to wherever you're riding maybe you don't need it but uh, if you're gonna make any pit stops along the way you go ahead and throw this on the way this works you have a loop here so you just Go around the frame wherever it makes sense and if you want to uh, go through the secondary bike you can do that as well but you'll feed this through feed that through and then that will actually lock down on uh, the hitch pin so you got your sks key here and that'll lock down on your hitch pin uh, bolt, I should say. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the on-ramp. Uh, again, the assembly, it's nothing too crazy. Installing it to the hitch is nothing too crazy at all, uh, as you saw, and then mounting your bike, that's pretty easy too. So just strap, 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 good to go. And this outer bike is the same as well. And again, these trays, you can actually adjust them front to back so if this buckle here is too close to the frame which I think it is right now what we would do is go ahead and loosen the tray on the bottom and then slide it over to the side and that way you have more room to pull that strap and have it at the proper angle so um, if we were actually gonna hit the road with this I would go ahead and make those adjustments um, but this is just a quick video well not about quick anymore this is just a video to show you the overall uh, on-ramp and how it's used and well i can't let you go without actually using the ramp can i so let's go ahead undo that wing knob and we'll go ahead and take that ramp and then let's see what's the best spot that's gonna show you the ramp well so you've got on this end the little hook and this is gonna hook onto the into the tray so all the trays have it so that just inserts kind of at an upward angle and then rotate down and that'll keep it in place that's it i'll go ahead and do it on the back so i think that's a little bit better camera angle for you see easy to swap around so we'll take the bike off and you just do everything in reverse so we'll do the wheel strap wheel strap and make sure you grab the bike before you undo this one because then there's nothing holding it okay 
That buckle's loose, swing that away. And we'll go ahead and wheel this down. <laughs> this bike's so light. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's a ramp. It's not that complicated, but it is handy. Um, one note that I've seen multiple places, so it must be very important. Um, so riders with e-bikes, you may be inclined to use the uh, power, do a power assist to help get this bike up. Uh, don't do it. I suspect it's because it can get out of hand and you could possibly just launch your bike up and up and off. So um, again, that's a note that that's, I've seen located in multiple places. So good idea to not, not do that. Um, Okay, so to put the mount uh, ramp back, that just again detaches, reattach here. Uh, one thing I uh, did not show you, bummer. Let me, well, I'll do it again real quick. I'll uh, show you how you can tilt the rack down. So, it's a good thing that this is quick and easy to attach. So here we go, we'll show you kind of in real time how quick this is. There you go. Okay, so you, uh, even with the bike mounted, what you would do in a, under a heavier load uh, two bikes, there's two people, so get somebody to help you out. One person would hold the rack to support that load, and the other person would pull the safety pin, and then come around and pull that pull tab. So I'll go ahead and do it since it's just me right here. Pull that tab, let it lay down. And then if you can see, there's plenty of room to open up that rear hatch. There you go. And to get it back into place, grab the rack. Make sure you grab the rack and not the bicycle because the bike can slip and that'll be just a bad day for whoever's here, whoever gets bonked. Um, so again, we'll go ahead and take off the bike. Everything in reverse. Grab the bike, make sure it doesn't fall. Hold it out of the way. There you go. So get it quick and easy. Loading and unloading. We'll go ahead and stow it. So this particular, actually I'm gonna get the strap in place before you fold it down. Uh, for this particular vehicle, we found that having the holders facing down so it would be away from the car gives it better clearance. Don't forget to check the uh, hitch fit tips for dimensions and sizing as far as placement. Um, basically, if the hitch is flush with the rear bumper, you should be good to go, no issues. All right, so we'll fold that up. Go ahead and put the safety pin back in. And there you go. So if you're driving with no bikes, tuck it up against the vehicle, and that way nothing's hanging off the back. You don't have to worry about anybody bonking into it um, or you backing up into anything and hitting it. So there you have it. That's the long look at the Yakima uh, on-ramp. Um, for more details, pricing, pictures, ordering, we've got plenty of these in stock. Click the link in the description below, visit theRackShop.com, or hey, come by the shop. We'll pull one together, install it, and go over it with you. Um, uh, as far as any more specifications, I think I went over it already. 66 pounds per bike times two. That's on-road. This can go off-road, but the weight comes down to 40 pounds per bike. Um, tire widths, you can do a 29er uh, wheel up to three and a quarter inch uh, tire or 27 and a half inch wheel with a four and a half inch tire with the fat bike strap. And then wheelbase is up to 50 inches. So that should be all the, the critical detail uh, specifications you need. But for more details, again, click the link in the description below 
take you to our product on the website, which has the instructions and all that good stuff. So, um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, again, if you have any questions, reach out. And like always, thanks for watching. Thank you.